and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature in favor with God and man what what is John's summary and the child grew and was strong where the spirit I was in the distance there were certain levels of exposure he did not accept before that do you know oh man do you know that I was on cable when I was 20 something? I was on cable TV in Africa when I was 20 something years old. I had invitations to, to 10 countries. And I went to my father and the Lord. I said, Am I matured enough to begin international ministry? He said, Yes. I will bless you for that. Okay, you are sure? I was 29. I knew myself knew I was not ready. You know why my father in the Lord said, I'll bless you for it. He showed me a young man that was 21. That was who already started international ministry. You're 29. So I got his blessing, but I accepted an invitation when I was 31 right that it, I, I don't know with something around that I don't remember again okay now but between the time I got the approval and the time I went I was striving for mastery those were the days when I fasted and my stomach was almost flat to the back there was nothing you would present to me that was that was attractive if it's not God, if Jesus is not on it. So when people were preaching about uh, uh, um, prosperity and personal success and motivation, those kind of things were stinking to my to my to my ears. Because I saw a little of the glory of God. It didn't look like motivational talk. It was stinking. And you know what? When you focus on God, God will make you prosper. And when He makes you prosper, you'll be bigger than the prosperity, so it won't be anything. When you find people that, you know, ego, there's a way they want you to respond to them, that's the corruption that comes with the vanity of wealth. means the person did not strive for the mastery. He's been caught up by the table of the king to serve something else other than Jesus. Two years to labor. Two years to strive. So I went on that mission. I came back. I submitted the reports to my father and the Lord and, and to God. And I felt I was ready. He didn't know, I didn't know that what God did was that he allowed me to experience international missions. That was when I saw my first cripple rise on a crusade, international crusade platform. Yeah, I saw five cripples walk that day. Then I thought that that was how it would continue. God will now allow me to go to five nations now, then ten. After experiencing that, he took me to the cave again for seven years. In fact, even... He even removed me from the pulpit. This is our own pulpit. Too. This is our pulpit. I, I gave up this pulpit to somebody else and stayed away from it for seven years as a pioneer. And the church I was attending, I was close to my house. When I come, the ushers will say, I was there for seven years. Nobody knew I was a preacher. wanted to kill the appetite for the pulpit in my heart so that the pulpit it will not be a performance it will not be stage it will not be show business <laughs> it will not be show business it will be because Jesus spoke not about anything that I think I left this our own pulpit for seven years. The people I left the pulpit in custody of, 
were not faithful. But God will not allow me to say anything for seven years. Have you ever been in that, in that, in that state? For seven years. I gave the man on that pulpit, I gave him the car they gave us on our wedding. I gave him. When I went to Lagos, they stole my car. So when I came back, I, you know, I come once in a month to visit my, my family, all right, without a car. So I was using bikes. I arrived at church before the man I gave a car. And the great one will not allow me to rebuke him for seven years. In the sixth year, the man tried to start his own ministry with our members. I know you don't know this. I am, I'm trying to tell you. And when I went to pray, you know what the great one said? Stand still and you shall see the salvation of God. I died. I died. So he, did, he didn't allow me to fight. And I assure you, I know how to fight. Right? He said, mm, no. That if you fight now, I will increase your wilderness journey for two years. And I was already tired of the wilderness. So he left. And he left by himself. The members he wanted, he left with them. They, what did God say? Stand still. I continued with the ones that remain. People said I was a fool. People said I was. They called me name. But you know what I had? He gave me intimacy with him. I know most of you don't know what intimacy with God means. You think he's speaking in tongues. Don't worry. This is the theory aspect of this meeting. We will shift to practical. Then you will know that I met Jesus. And I'm not saying it boastfully. If I tell you otherwise, I didn't meet him, I lied. It was after the seven years that Jesus now said, Now you can represent me among the nations. Do you understand? Wait, 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 wait. But even after he said that, it took an additional 12 years before he released me into it. I know some of you want to preach. You have seen pastors wear ties and you like the way they look. He that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. So the person I gave a car so that he can be more effective in the assignment was now the big man. I was using bikes to come to church. And I was using bike to go back even though I gave him a car. And it happened like that for seven years. And the great one said, And Jesus increased in wisdom. That was how wisdom, that was how wisdom came to me. You will soon find out when you start running a ministry that is big, that you need more wisdom than an anointing. But you, 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 you are not aware yet. We have many preachers that are not wise, even old ones. This thing about wisdom is not age. It's not that I've been in ministry for 35 years. You, are, you can't. <laughs> May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. And Jesus increased what? Can you see that wisdom is first? Just like for John, spirit, he was strong. Where? In spirit. was first. Wisdom here is first. So it means if you touch wisdom, if you touch Jesus, engage in a discussion with him, you will touch wisdom. <laughs> 